After losing Sooness in 2004, Blackburn Rovers had to find a new manager to keep them from falling into the trapdoor of oblivion in the second tier of English football. Despite promising recent finishes in the league, Rovers opted for a bit of a surprise appointment when hiring the then Wales manager and former Rovers player Mark Hughes as their new gaffer. Despite the early concerns, Hughes was a decent appointment, bringing in some decent signings for very little money which resulted in some positive performances for Rovers within the four years of his stay as manager. Despite not reaching the glories of King Kenny and Sooness, Hughes was deemed a success as manager and eventually left for Moneybags, Manchester City. And as many managers and players have found out, the grass is not always greener. To cut a long story short, what if Rovers were to return and bring back Sparky Hughes one more time to become manager, however, this time in League One? Can he bring back the positive football he introduced in his first stint? What about transfers? Can he find any bargain signings to revitalise Rovers? Let's waste no more time and find out. <laughs> Hello and welcome to yet another Football Manager 2018 Blackburn Rovers Managerial Experiment. In each one of these experiments, we recreate the 2017-2018 season. However, we bring back a manager from Blackburn Rovers' past. And in this episode, we're going to be bringing back Mark Hughes. That's right. So let me just show you what I'm on about by bringing up Blackburn Rovers. So here he is, Sparky, back in charge of Blackburn Rovers. Currently only on £7.75,000 a week. His reputation is around about three and a half stars, pushing forward towards four stars. But it is the main man, and it is Mark Hughes. Obviously, he was a player for Rovers back in the uh, early 2000s. He went on to become Wales manager before taking up his first club role, and that was with Blackburn Rovers. Obviously, since then, he's went on to manage Man City, Fulham. QPR, Stoke, and most recently Southampton, but that's not been uh, reflected in this update. But anyway, who cares? And just let's just have a quick look at the uh, Blackburn Rovers players he'll be working with. It's the same squad that uh, has been used in every other one of these experiments. It looks like Elliot Bennett is wanted by Fulham, as is Corey Evans. So both those players could make the switch this season with Sparky in charge, but... Uh, we will wait and see to see if that occurs. But anyway, what we're going to do is going to fast forward to the end of the season to see just how well Mark Hughes can, uh, or just how far, or just how, or basically just see how well he can make Blackburn Rovers this season. Can he get us promoted at the first attempt? Will we be champions? Will we be playoffs? Who knows? Let's fast forward to the end of the season and take a look and we'll see what's happened. So here we are, folks, at the end of the season, and it is 31st of May, 2018. And now what we're going to do is try and bring up the old uh, Blackburn Rovers. See how well uh, we have done. But if you have a little sneak peek, you can actually see here. Just say Blackburn promoted. So let's take a look and see what that means. So we type in Blackburn. It comes up. It says fourth in Sky Bet League 1. So it looks like we must have gone through via the playoffs. And well, well, well. Not only are we fourth in the table, but Stuart McCall is now manager. Which is, uh, which is interesting. So Sparky must have either moved on to pastures new or what. So it looks like he was... Uh, was he fired? Did he... Where is he right now? Mark Hughes is actually at Birmingham. So, was he straight up hired? Um, let's go look. Let's go follow this daisy chain and see how... See how this... Sacked. So, Steve Cottrell sacked February. Spark Hughes, uh, Mark Hughes, Mark Hughes, Mark Hughes uh, was then hired uh, to become Birmingham City Manager. So, he jumped ship, basically. And left it up to uh, David Dunn and then Stuart McCall to take over the reins. So, uh, what does that say about Mark Hughes? It shows him a bit of a, uh, a money money chaser. No loyalty whatsoever. But anyway, let's take a look at Black Rose. Have a look and see how uh, how the players have fared. And first and foremost, let's just take a look at the league. Uh, so, it looks like Wigan are champions. Oldham uh, secured second spot. Bizarre. And Blackburn Rovers beat Oxford in the playoff final to get themselves through to uh, the championship. Let's take a look at Blackburn Rovers' squad. See how these boys... In fact, let's, let's go look at the transfers before anything else. Uh, pretty busy, in fact. Kevin Gomez was brought in a... Uh, what is he? 29-year-old French defender. He was brought in. He's actually on his way back out again. He's actually brought him from Dundee. He's actually going to be making another transfer, looks like. Partick Thistle at the end of the season. Gregory's been brought in. Seen him crop up on a few of the other simulations. 37-year-old uh, Martinique defender. Um... Yeah, seven appearances though for him this season. Jan Valery is a uh, right-sided defender. He was brought in, but it looks like he was already 
been made... Sub no, he was brought in on loan from Southampton, made 14 appearances and then was re-signed uh, on, on loan again, but this time by Bradford. And Fusini Diabetes, coming in from Leicester City, 22-year-old 20, Malayan international, uh, featured 16 times, scoring six goals in uh, all competitions for Blackburn Rovers. As the players going out, no major surprises, a lot of low knees. So let's just take a look at the squads, uh, the, the, the statistics and whatnot. Uh, for Rovers. So, top of the pops, David Rye with 58 appearances. That's quite a tally. So, we'll have to look at the schedule in just a second. Elliot Bennett with 53 appearances. Bradley Dack, 52. Paul Downing with 50. And Richie Smallwood also in there with 50. As for the goals, Bradley Dack has 13 goals. Dominic Samuel has 10. Danny Graham has 7. Richie Smallwood has 5. As does Elliot Bennett having 5. Uh, as for the assists, no questions there. Elliot Bennett, 11 assists. Dack has 7. Mulgrew has 7. Smallwood has 4. And Corey Evans has has four and the best player is Jason Lautweiler. Not really. He only had four appearances, but Elliot Bennett is the tops, top of the pops here with 7.11. Derek Williams has a 7.04. Danny Graham 7.03. And Corey Evans with a 7.00. So let's take a look at the schedule. Looks like a lot of cup games have added to their tally. Obviously, yeah, we did play the playoffs, so that added uh, to it. Chelsea got knocked out in the fourth round. Uh, uh, we lost to Chelsea in the fourth round of the FA Cup. Got to the Czech Trade Trophy, Northern Section, third round. Uh, we also play Pompey in the FA Cup on a replay, South End as well. As for the Carabara Cup, we were knocked out by Spurs. So, yeah, we've had a, an eventful season here with, with Mark Hughes, but he didn't cut the mustard as gaffer. So let's take a look at how the Rovers players fared within the whole division as a whole. So it looks a little bit different than usual. So it's just throw me off here. Anyway, uh, Jack Marriott tops the goal scoring charts with 22 goals this season. Paddy Mann's in second with 21. As for third, Ewan Doyle's in, th in third place with 18 goals. Port Mark McCullough has uh, in fourth place 16 goals. And Charlie Wyke wraps up the top top five with, uh, what was it, 14 goals or something like that. Anyway, Billy, Ge Billy Bingham tops the assists uh, charts with 14 assists. He's actually joined with Matt Grimes, ex-Rover, 14 assists. Third place, Jack Brine. Is he ex-Rover, Jack Brine? Yes, he is. We had him for a couple of a couple of matches. Uh, he has 13 assists. Carl Dempsey in fourth with 12. And Alex Mowat is in a whole cluster of uh, four or five players with 11 assists, including James Coppinger, Ryan McLaughlin, Stephen Warnock, Marcus Tavener in the top five with uh, assists. Let's take a look at the average rating for a player in this division. And it's a new name, Ben Godfrey with uh, 7.26. Paddy Mann's in second with 7.24. Jack Maritz in third, 7.19. As for fourth, Dean Henderson, 7.14. And uh, Michael Jacobs wraps up the top five with 7.14. Elliot Bennett, Harris Rover with a 7.13. So that's that's the nitty gritty. Let's go take a look at around the old leagues now, see what's been going on. First and foremost, the Premier Division. Arsenal are champions of England, 94 points. Second place is Manchester United. Third is Manchester City. Wrap up the top four is Chelsea. As for the bottom, Stoke, West Ham and Swansea wrap it up. So let's kick on now into the championship and see what's going on. See who Rovers will be playing next season in this simulation. Middlesbrough, our champions, leads the second. And Ipswich sneak through the back door of the playoffs. Derby, Sheffield Wednesday and Cardiff. The unlucky ones didn't make the grey. Barnsley, Bolton and Burton. Three Bs once again are relegated to League One. Now we did look at League One. But let's take a look at the bottom end of the table. South End, Bradford, Plymouth and uh, Rochdale are playing League 2 football as Wigan, Oldham and, as I said, Rovers are going to the Championship. As for the league table in League 2, Lincoln are champions, Coventry and Exeter are going automatic. Luton screws through the back door, it looks like, of the playoffs. Is that correct? Yes, they beat Notts County 1-0. As for the bottom of the table, New Newport County and Grimsby are relegated back to the Football League or the Non-Football League, whatever, no, National League Football. But anyway, that wraps it up. Um, so, bit of a surprise on that. Obviously, Paul Lambert's uh, started off this whole um, series with a 72-point uh, tally. But uh, but uh, despite that being one of the lowest scores, he's not actually bottom of the table. We do have a couple of sackings in there. Anyway, join me right back here once again tomorrow for yet another Football Manager experiment where we bring back another Blackburn Rovers manager from the past.